So, um, as Bill mentioned, uh, I'm very proud of uh, working with the Santa Rosa Family Medicine residents. Uh, the beautiful thing about working with uh, doctors in training is that you feel like you have a, a way to powerfully influence the future of medicine. Uh, with every medical student, every resident trainee comes by, you realize there's more docs being pumped out there who are learning the principles of integrative medicine and uh, uh, bringing that to a wider population. Um, as Bill mentioned, uh, I do practice at the Vista Family Health Center, which is part of Santa Rosa Community Health Centers. And 80% of our patients um, have incomes at or below the federal poverty level. Um, so we're very proud of being able to bring integrative medicine to uh, some of the folks who need it the most. Where are we in 2013? Um, as an integrative doctor, I do prescribe herbal medicines. I often get on the table and show people exercises. I do write uh, prescriptions for vegetables. Um, and I also prescribe medicines in the hospital and in the clinic. So I'm not here to vilify medicines, but I think what we're seeing now in 2013 is just a gross imbalance of how much Americans over rely on pharmaceutical medicines and we really need to get back to the roots. And, and my title of the talk is going from pharma back to the farm. Uh, now the challenge uh, of what we're seeing uh, with use of pharmaceuticals now is just the huge proportions. 70% um, of Americans are on at least one medicine. 20% of Americans are on five or more medicines every single day. Um, if you take geriatric populations, that number goes way up. Um, I can guarantee you I have many patients who are on 15 or more medicines as part of their daily routine. Um, I think one of the things that's uh, really striking and humbling, a lot of people don't know this, is that medication errors themselves are the sixth leading cause of death in America. And that's not because of uh, allergic reactions, it's not because someone accidentally gave someone a big dose, that's the right medicine for the right cause, and we're still seeing huge problems with that. So medicines have the power to heal. They also have the power to cause a lot of harm. Another thing a lot of people uh, don't realize is that a lot of the drugs have very specific interactions. Drugs interact with other drugs. Drugs can also interact with nutrients. And um, I'm not gonna go over all of these, but just to highlight, um, if you look just at estrogens alone, um, women on birth control pills, women on hormone replacement therapy. How many of uh, women have been on these medicines many times for many, many years and not been told some of the nutrients that they may need to consider replacing in their body because these drugs deplete that from their system? And how many women have been on, have come to me with on birth control pills saying, you know, my libido is not, you know, it doesn't feel as right when I'm on these, but I don't want to get pregnant. Um, what do we require to make the happy hormones and happy neurotransmitters in our body? Uh, we need those B vitamins and magnesium. So again, there's a cost-benefit ratio, and I think a lot of people just need to be more aware of what uh, pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals can do in our body. This just came out a week ago um, from Medscape, and uh, I think the numbers are staggering if you look at them. Um, Crestor is also uh, rosuvastatin, which is a cholesterol-lowering medicine. 23.7 million prescriptions last year alone. Um, if you skip down to Nexium, which is a, a, a proton pump inhibitor, so something that some people take for stomach acid, again, staggering, staggering numbers. Um, the Crestor alone, uh, the total sales were more than $5.3 billion. Do you, do you know of any farmer programs or agricultural programs that are getting that degree of money to support them? Why are we prescribing broccoli? Why isn't broccoli getting $5.3 million to support itself? We'll come back to this. Um, per, for the, per the, chronic, uh, the Center for Disease Control, um, 
Chronic diseases such as heart disease, such as cancer, such as diabetes, are among the most common, yet the most costly, and the most preventable. So why aren't we focusing on the prevention aspect of these diseases? We're spending, again, it's not a matter that drugs are bad, we're just spending way too much of our attention on those and not looking at all the factors, powerful factors, that can prevent them. But wait, it gets worse. Americans are not moving, many of us are not active, about a quarter of us are complete couch potatoes, which the definition means that they've not done any significant activity over the past 30 days. Um, in 2007, only a quarter of Americans were eating five servings of fruits and vegetables. It's how many is actually recommended that adults eat? Yes, closer to nine. It's closer to nine. Uh, and unfortunately, teenagers are worse. So we're not moving, we're not eating well, and then we're wondering why we're relying on all these pharmaceutical medications. So now that I've presented all the fun, <laughs> the sobering uh, statistics, um, the question is how do we get back to the farm? How do we uh, get rid of our over-reliance on pharma and get back to the farm? First, do no harm. Stop eating food that is harmful to you. Stop eating over-processed foods. Bill gives a beautiful example of actually just biting into an apple. You know, instead of having apple juice that's processed with high fructose corn syrup, instead of eating apple roll-up jellies that are some of the process, let's get back to food that is more natural, whole, and that our grandmother would recognize as food. Um, also, uh, you know, especially with integrative medicine, many times I'm asking people to stay off certain foods, to stay off wheat, to stay off dairy, because some of the diseases I see with people coming in uh, to my clinic can be powerfully affected by the foods they eat. And so many, many times, one of the first things I'll do is just take a dietary history. What are you eating? What are your symptoms? Next, do some good. You are what you eat, so choose wisely. If you think about it, are you in the same physical body that you were seven years ago? Are you in the same physical body that you were a year ago, or even a month ago? What's making all those cells? What we breathe, what we eat, what we drink is making more of us. So the more good stuff we put in, the healthier we'll be. <clears throat> Educate yourself and partner with like-minded uh, practitioners. You guys are here, so congratulations. And vote with your fork and your dollar. Um, there's actually a farmer's market that's actually in this parking lot every Saturday and Wednesday morning, as well as other places in Santa Rosa. Um, talk to your farmers. Uh, you'd be surprised how uh, amazingly good an Arkansas black apple tastes. And if you've never had one, meet your farmers and talk to them about it. So let's go back uh, to this list. And I, I might need your help with this. So instead of uh, spending, uh, having 23.7 million prescriptions for a statin drug, a cholesterol lowering medicine, are there food interventions we can do? I'm seeing a lot of yeses. Can, can we prescribe more veggies? Can we work, you know, and I, and I think actually uh, I will implore all of you as the public, as patients, to ask these of your doctors as well, because doctors will respond uh, to patients' inquiries about that. And if they don't, then start looking for someone else. Um, if I choose another one, uh, number four, uh, Cymbalta duloxetine, what's that for? Yeah, depression, anxiety, pain. Are there better alternatives? Are there things we could do with our food choices that can make a difference with our mood, with how we, uh, our bodies uh, uh, get pain messages? Um, this is how I'd like to see a prescription written. And just to top off, uh, two other things that we're doing here in Santa Rosa, the VFRX study is a randomized controlled trial where uh, doctors at Santa Rosa at the Vista Clinic have been prescribing vegetables to our patients <coughs> for nine months. And this is one of our patients uh, shopping and redeeming her vouchers at the Santa Rosa Farmer's Market. Uh, we're in the final data analysis stage right now. I'll, I'll let you know the data looks good and hopefully coming soon to a peer-reviewed journal uh, near you. And uh, wouldn't it be wonderful if every clinic and every community health center in this country had a farm to partner with? 
Workhorse Organic Agriculture is our partner farm. Uh, their motto is the best food that money can't buy, because they only, out of their 100 acres, they grow food only for people who do not have access to healthy food. And they're amazing. This is uh, one of our diabetes groups, and uh, the farmer was able to come and see our patients. Um, and they give the most gorgeous produce, and, and patients are doing well. One of our diabetic patients lost 16 pounds. Uh, they're so excited about having uh, fresh fruits and vegetables, and so they're really getting the message and taking it home. So last slide, so back to our short history of medicine. That antibiotic is a natural, eat this root. And I'm happy to answer questions after all the speakers. Thank you.